It is the vintage weekend in Hebden Bridge and people have travelled from near and far to see a wide range of classic cars and browse at stalls, bringing back memories of previous times. But one memory people in this area don't like to look back fondly upon are the terrible Boxing Day floods in 2015. For residents who had to face the flood, it's hard to forget images from the day which showed the true scale of the devastation. Vast swathes of the Calder Valley were submerged as communities tried to fight against the deluge. Hebden Bridge, Mythamroyd and Todmorden were amongst the areas which were badly hit by the floodwaters. Unlike previous floods, communities further down the valley including Sobey Bridge, Elland and Brighouse were also seriously flooded as the River Calder and its tributaries burst their banks. Market Street, seen here in Hebden Bridge, was one of the places worst affected by the disaster. Calderdale is a region of West Yorkshire, west of Leeds and Bradford and northeast of Manchester. Hebden Bridge was one of the worst places affected by the flooding. It is a market town in the upper Calder Valley, eight miles west of Halifax, at the confluence of the River Calder and Hebden Water. The population is approximately 4,500 people. Millstone grit and relatively impermeable gritty sandstones lay almost horizontally on the high ground around the town. The resulting topography has fairly steep, narrow valleys where watercourses have eroded down into less resistant formations, separated by broad and flat upland areas. The Upper Calder Valley has four principal settlements Todmorden, Sowby Bridge, Mythamroyd, and Hebden Bridge. The settlements developed in steep valley bottoms taking advantage of shelter from strong winds and harnessing the water and energy of the River Calder and its tributaries. The buildings are often tightly packed and are close to the rivers which increases the risk of flooding. Hebden Bridge is a popular place to live but because building space is limited due to the steep valleys and lack of flat land some creative thinking in the past led to upstairs-downstairs houses, known as over- and under-dwellings. These were houses built in terraces, with four to five storeys. The upper storeys faced uphill, while the lower ones faced downhill, with their back wall against the hillside. The bottom two storeys would be one house, while the upper two or three storeys would be another. The buildings in Hebden Bridge are really close together, extending up the surrounding hillsides, packing up close to the river banks. Good rail connections and a vibrant local culture have increased the popularity of the towns in recent years and the demand for housing is high. Tourists flock to Hebden Bridge to enjoy the wide range of quirky, inventive independent stores, bars and cafes. The area is also popular with walkers and cyclists. The canal is an added attraction, popular with walkers and people using the waterway, living in barges and houseboats and moving through the wonderful scenery. It was a combination of physical and human factors which led to record-breaking river levels in the Calder Valley. This chart shows the incredible peaks in river levels at the time of the floods, with all major settlements experiencing their highest ever statistics. Prior to the floods, the north of England experienced exceptional levels of rainfall during November and December 2015.
parts of northwest England had twice the average rainfall in November, although the UK overall figure was just 13% higher than average. Some areas of Yorkshire experienced the wettest December since records began in 1910. Storm Eva hit the UK on Christmas Eve, bringing high winds and heavy rain to large areas of the northern UK, further saturating the ground. This was quickly followed by an additional Atlantic low-pressure system. Though not a named storm, it was this system which brought the very heavy rain on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Rainfall of up to 120 millimetres fell in the 24-hour period around the 26th of December in Lancashire and Yorkshire. The average rainfall for December for the entire month is just 145 millimetres, which shows the extent of the deluge. The intense rainfall in a short period of time on already saturated ground led to rapid runoff into the river system causing rivers to exceed their previous highest ever levels and they burst from their channels. The flooding on the 26th of December 2015 occurred when rivers rose rapidly because the ground was already saturated from previous heavy rainfall. The social impacts of the floods were enormous. Homes and businesses were inundated and many people were forced from their houses. 12 electricity substations were affected. 10 sewage pumping stations were interrupted from their normal operation. Around 2,000 homes were flooded and 8 schools were affected. The economic costs of the floods were immense. Thousands of properties were wrecked, causing an estimated £150 million in damage. 1,200 businesses were seriously affected, including one building being washed away in Mythamroyd and Elland Bridge seriously damaged, leading to transport problems. Jobs were put at risk, particularly in the tourist industries, which rely upon visitors. £47 million is estimated to have been lost in total by businesses. There was also £25 million of damage to highways and bridges. The environmental impact of the floods were catastrophic. A 32 km stretch of the river valley was flooded and numerous landslips were reported. The floods washed chemicals and sewage into the river system and contaminated water spread quickly over the area, causing public health issues and affecting wildlife. Floodwaters may arrive quickly, but they take time to recede and leave debris and damage behind. The cleanup operations are expensive and take a considerable time to be carried out effectively. People in the Calder Valley were shocked by the floods, and some people were angry that they had been allowed to happen. There had been flooding in the past and some residents felt more should have been done to prepare for these events. The flooding was a result of a number of factors. High precipitation was one major cause, but the geology and relief of the Calder Valley also contributed, as did the land use and tightly packed settlements alongside the river. Major infrastructure changes and flood defences have been introduced in recent years to avoid similar disasters taking place in the future and to prepare for the further uncertainty that climate change is likely to add to weather patterns across the UK. Look out for the Geography Juice video describing the costs and benefits of the management strategies being introduced in the Calder Valley. Thank you for watching.